Welcome back to another Young Blooms uh, tutorial. Really lovely to be here. Um, and this is a, a quirky one, but a rather lovely one at the same time. So um, you can see before me a uh, low sort of um, bowl. It's um, I think the Americans call these uh, compote bowls or compote dishes, but essentially it's um, just a really shallow uh, dish on a on a stand. Um, and I've just created this arrangement so you can kind of see it's got a mixture of peonies, love in the mist, lisianthus, feverfew, uh, astrantia, um, some eucalyptus, um, some sage in there as well. So just really pretty and delicate. Um, and I just thought. This is a nice one to, to work through. Oh, it's got some verbena in it as well. Um, this is a nice design to work through. Quite simple. Um, one that I used to struggle with quite a lot um, when I first started. But I think one of the biggest things I hear from couples when they're getting married is that they are always worried that people won't be able to see over the arrangement on the table at the reception. And so I think using so this is the container that I used, so using something like this creates more of a visual access, if you, if you like, because um, you can create that lower design. But the problem is, is just, you know, if you've got large stems like peonies, um, keeping them anchored in a bowl without any form of mechanic in the bottom can be quite tricky. So I'm just going to talk through some really simple mechanics on how you can do that. Um, so let's get started. So, um, let me talk you through the uh, mechanics for this little um, this little beauty. I've put this down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so this kind of mechanic would translate to sort of any style bowl like this. You know, if you've got low dishes, if you've got low dishes, um, you know, you can use this. So I've got uh, a square of chicken wire. So this is the plastic covered chicken wire. Um, and just simply scrunching it up. There's no great science to this. Um, and just popping it in. So with this, I have, I mean, I've used these for a number of times for a, a wedding. Um, and I originally thought actually you could just do a hand tie and pop them in. But actually, realistically, that's um, the, the shortness of the hand tie, the binding point. It just sort of unbalances it's not very secure so wasn't a good mechanic so I've just got pop tape and just a short bit over the side you don't need much um, so I generally just put two pieces over and then maybe I don't know you could do two pieces over the other side and there you go really simple um, so that will keep everything nice and secure I mean you kind of think actually could I just use the tape and not put the chicken wire in the bottom but actually the, the uh, chicken wire is, is helps things be even more secure than um, just having that tape because they've got something to anchor to when they go into the, the vase so there you go um, your starting point for this, uh, this low design, so let's get cracking. Okay, so mechanic is all sorted, um, vase is full of water, um, and away we go. I've got um, fever few and foliage to start. Um, I'll just put this fever few down here. So essentially you're just <coughs> using lots of little offcuts for this really, um, short bits. Um, it doesn't need to be anything hugely substantial. Um, so you can raid your garden or, um, you know, uh, probably get yourself, I think, probably three or four stems of eucalyptus. Um, so I'm using, I'm using baby blue which is nice, um, quite sort of structural, good. Um, and as I'm filling this, I had a couple of questions on the on the YouTube channel. 
um, and people asking what's the difference between what I do on YouTube and, and the flower school, um, which is a really good question. And I think for me, uh, the YouTube channel is just a window into the flower school, um, so you can see what um, what it's like. Um, and I think what it's like is an expanded version of the of the YouTube stuff that I do. Um, <coughs> They're longer, they're more in depth, you get a whole PDF of information about flower types, hints and tips, that sort of thing. You know, stuff that's useful for you. Um, so this is really just a, a taster um, to help you um, feel comfortable with, with what to expect. Um, and the lovely thing about the flower school at the moment is that we've got um, Zoom, we're having uh, Zoom gatherings every two weeks, which has been really great, really um, uh, really nice to sort of build community um, and get to know people, see where they're at. Um, so I mean, people are at all different stages, you know, there's some people who just love flowers, like I've said before, there's some people who are starting out in business. Um, you know, I had a message from one of them this week saying she's booked another wedding next year, which is fantastic and it's lovely to be able to share in people's growth and development in their businesses. Oops, I missed a bit. So you can kind of see I'm just filling it up. It looks like two ears coming out, doesn't it? Um, but just sort of general, just very relaxed um, feel to it. You don't want to go too high. Um, you want to keep it sort of fairly low key. So just using these short bits of feed with you and poking them in. That's it. And I think a trick with this is always to remember to keep turning it. Um, and I mean another useful tip is, um, is to look at the people that you admire on Instagram and um, and copy their designs because I think this for me was always felt difficult to get because I worked in um, an interflora shop and designs sort of early 2000s were very tight, very roll, you know, roundy, what do they call them, roundy moundy, something like that. They were very sort of um, tightly bunched and so this more relaxed sort of style I always felt slightly unnerved by. I don't know why, um, but I think as everything, you know, with everything, it's uh, it's sort of practice. I might leave that until the flowers get put in. So it looks quite odd at the moment, but um, that's the foliage um, and Phoebe Few put in. Um, and this one has gone long, this Phoebe Few, but it's quite delicate, so it's not sort of a you know in your face um, height. So. I will now start with the flowers. Okay, so I've just got the, uh, I guess the more delicate bits uh, to put in um, to finish off. Oops. And if you're struggling to um, get stems in, just, um, I think it's kind of like a twist and, uh, turn and twist sort of approach. If you feel like um, there's not much space in the vase. I always find it's really important to keep turning as well because I think otherwise you can end up with a, a bunch of flowers in one place and not a much in the other. So this is a lovely um, design in some senses in that you know if you're doing something just gathered from the garden it doesn't take a huge amount of material which is always nice. Um, I quite like it. So you're always remembering as well to, to fill in around the base so you don't see gaps of uh, bits of bits of chicken wire. And things like the fever few are quite nice for that. They're a bit a bit bulky. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this peony a bit higher up. Because it is more closed, I think it can sort of sing out to the the side. 
they look quite effective. And I love this plum astrantia, it's, it's really delicate. You do need to give it a really good condition though, so making sure it's had a good drink before you, uh, before you use it. So you're just popping these final bits in, a nice piece of strontia. And there you go. So a really simple uh, technique, really simple mechanics, um, creates a really beautiful um, arrangement um, that is low enough for a, a wedding table centre um, and looks really effective. It's nice and relaxed, quite informal. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, lovely to share it with you as always. Um, thank you for all of the uh, new subscribers, really nice. Do comment below if you've got questions um, and also check out the Flower School because that's what this is all about. Um, so www.youngbloomflowerschool.com and um, look forward to seeing you next time.